Hello again, Michael Freebrick here from beautiful North Carolina. And today I have yet another shaving product products review for you. It's going to be, first of all, this, the Damusi soap from House of Mammoth. I'll get to that in just a moment, but we'll review the other stuff first. Also this, I believe it's called the Gemini brush from Yaki. It's a 24 millimeter badger. And I think I've had this in two different finishes. One's a chrome and this is the matte. And we're gonna be using the Chiseled Face uh, Legacy Razor. Again, this is about three days worth of growth. I'm gonna be using a brand new Wilkinson Sword blade in there for today. That wrapper goes directly into the garbage can. All right, let's get the blade in there. These are really plain looking blades, by the way. Very limited markings on there, that's about it. Base plate will go on. Yes, I'm using small washer. Let's get that assembled and then we'll start talking about the soap. Get that screwed on there. There we go. Yep, beautiful. I don't think that razor is gonna struggle with this growth really at all. All right, the soap, by the way, was very kindly gifted to me along with the matching aftershave, which we'll be finishing the shave with, um, by Ben himself at the Maggard meetup. So he just, we arranged uh, for which sent to go for and that he mailed it off. I'm very happy to receive it. Uh, this has been a fantastic soap. Let me just show you what this looks like in the tin, well, the container, and then I'll put it, I'll show you the loading bowl. This has, <sighs> wow, the soap and the aftershave to me smell quite different. I'll tell you which notes really predominate, you know, or dominate here versus the aftershave, but here, what I get is a slight, a slight musky, kind of slightly dense floral with some citrus and what they describe as kind of a wet stone that definitely comes through here as well. There's kind of a slight earthiness to it. And then there's also a little bit of pine in there, apparently a lepo pine. And so I get like a sort of an overtones of the citrus, but more, I think it's the iris and the wet stone sort of come through for me in the soap. And, but it is a very, very nice scent, both in the soap and in the aftershave. This is a really rich, um, a really rich soap base. This has got duck fat and then beef tallow. I think there's babasu oil in there. There's muru muru butter, which I have never really heard of. Um, there's a variety of really nice skin friendly ingredients in here. We'll talk about the performance in just a moment once I load it up in the loading bowl. But first, let's go through and get the brush good and wet. Yeah, Yaki sent through two of these brushes and it's a 24 millimeter silver tip um, in a matte and a chrome handle. Um, it's a cool looking handle. It's quite heavy. It's easy to grip because of those indentations, but it's this lip again. This part, I wish this was just smooth because you end up with your fingers kind of in an awkward position. They just wish it was continuous, but um, it has opened up quite a bit since I first started using it. It did have some significant funk, but a couple lathers and that goes away. Clean it with the Zinc Iron Man brush cleaner and a couple of times it was just gone. There is the soap pressed into the Captain's Choice loading bowl. I'm going to use a relatively wet brush. You can see it's already starting to drip a little bit. Um, the soap is really dense, really creamy, quite easy to load, but I would say don't start off with too dry brushes. I think you just won't pick up enough of the soap. I think that this must be like an, an updated, an up rev version, obviously, of the original Oleo Soap Works, because I think that's who he's working with to make these soaps. Um, they're fabricating it based on his formulation, but the presence of duck fat in there seems like a sort of a dead giveaway. And one with which I'm very happy, by the way, those duck fat soaps were fantastic. Okay, you can see what's happening. There's kind of a very thick, dense, creamy lather starting to form. I'm gonna add some water to that and just load a little bit more. You can see I've just dripped a little bit in there. Just to make sure I get enough loaded on that brush. The brush is um, a nice mix between sort of dense, but not heavy dense, not you know over too structurally rigid, and it's not too floppy either. It's got a nice mix. So when you're actually painting or lathering, oh, that's, that's gonna be beautiful. All right, I'm gonna wet my face. Three days of growth. I'm gonna put a little bit of water on the face of the brush as always, make sure that that's wet as well. Now, I've shaved with this for the full week. And I've purposely on a couple days just used a, you know, just really a little bit of soap. 
but not very much water, just to get a feel for what that would be like. And even without enough water, still really nice and slick. You can see what's happening. Already starting to form a denser, creamier lather. That is still, still too dry. So I just add a touch of water, I'm just dipping the tips in the water. And we'll soon see, get a nice little bit slicker. There we go. A little bit more. Pull some of the stuff off the bottom. The scent, I would say, is mid-strong. A little bit less so off the lather than off the puck. And I also feel like it sort of separates into two more distinct notes once you lather it. So in this particular case, get a bit more distinct of the sort of the heavier notes. And then a little touch brighter of the uh, of the citrus notes, which I think is Sicilian blood orange and lemon, something like that. Don't remember the exact notes. Sorry. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Three plus days worth of growth. Coming back to the uh, chisel face, the legacy brand new blade. <laughs> so easy, just zero struggle, no clogging. The soap has a kind of a nice, lightly fatty, creamy feel to it. But it doesn't feel greasy at all or overly fatty. Slickness is really good. I made a joke last time about, you know, sort of the uh, the arms race for shaving soap bases. This is another one of those that's just so good. You just wonder how much better does it really need to be? This sort of like the Holy Cow soaps or the Zingari Man soaps, the Sapona Fiji of Aracino, soaps like that, you can easily shave with those exclusively and have no regrets and no issues with the soap quality. This is just another one of those. Really a lovely scent. I don't know if I'm in a smaller category of people that sort of you know detect a bit of a a bit of a sort of overly, I don't know, overly, some of a heavy, slightly funky scent. Which I think might be the lily. But it's really nice. In fact, it's a nice mix between that heavier floral scent and sort of the slightly salty, earthy, wet stone along with the citrus scents, which I'm a big fan of the citrus scents. All right, look how easy and quick that first pass was. Absolutely absurd. All right, let's go for pass number two. The soap, by the way, rinses very cleanly and easily. You don't have that like overly persistent, slightly fatty feel to it. This may look a little thin, but I'm going to tell you, this is not going to matter at all in terms of slickness for these next two passes, which you want to make sure is you're getting a good slick layer. And this is nice and slick. Okay. Enough of the lather, Tom Foolery. Rinse my hands, of course, because I have lather on them. Of course. All right. This is going to be the across the grain pass. Yeah, I love how loud this razor is. What a productive buzz. Residual slickness, like I'm shaving where there is no lather, but there is still a very slight layer.
Yeah, very nice and smooth. Soap is just excellent. You know, it makes for such an easy shave, such a kind of a effortless combination of the right razor, right blade, good lather from a well-made soap. It's just such a joy. And I really feel bad for people that struggle because they have to shave and they have to make themselves shave and they hate the whole thing. They hate everything about it. And I realize, yes, you have to do a bit of work to get to this. You can't just start, you can't just buy something on Saturday and be an expert by Sunday and have no issues. And the other thing is trying to figure out what to buy. I mean, imagine you're a new wet shaver now. What would you, where would you even start? And you have so many amazing things to pick from that, yeah, I'm sure people are just paralyzed, which is why I feel like it's always a good thing to continue to help people with starter kit recommendations because it is actually, you know, very easy to get started. It just takes a little bit of money and just a little bit of patience to figure out how to use these new tools. Rome wasn't built in a day and your face isn't going to get shaved. And eh, whatever. All right. Third and final pass. Mm, yeah, very, very nice. I will say the first couple of days using this brush, there was still a minor undertone of a sort of wet fur. But that only took a day or two, really, when all was said and done to kind of get rid of that. A couple of brush cleanings, a shave or two. All right, the against the gray pass. There we go, let's not waste any of that. Beautiful ladder, beautiful. All right, rinse my hand, of course, again, let's do the against the gray pass, and then we're gonna be almost done, except for, of course, the aftershave. We have things to talk about there as well. All right, against the grain. While we're doing that, talk about the brush for a minute. As he falls silent. The, the knot in there is just a nice mix. It's got enough backbone so that it doesn't feel horribly floppy and too open. It has enough movement that you can really feel the brush moving over your face probably. It loads without falling apart. It doesn't really open too much when you press down on it. A nice knot. I feel like for the badger knots, the overly dense ones, just too dense. You don't get that nice mix of knot splay and structure. Wow, <laughs> that pass. This might, in fact, be too mild a blade. But what I might do is I might take the feathers that came with the fine razor and try those in here. Just see how that works out. Just relying on sort of the residual slickness there. Whew. 
Wow. Okay. Well. <laughs> fantastic. Just fantastic. What a wonderful feeling shave. Great soap. Razor such a joy to use. New blade. Just makes that razor sing. It's been a little harder than I thought to give up on these blades early, but I think I'm doing the right thing by giving up on those blades early. I'm trying to eke another few shaves out of them. Just not working out for my skin, really. All right, well, not bad at all. Oh, there's no errant, stray, embarrassing clods of aftershave or shaving lotion left. Okay, good, good, good. No shaving soap left here. Whew. Okay, let's talk about the aftershave splash um, alcohol. This does have, which I did not realize initially, bad on me, this does have synthetic menthol in it. So you give it a little bit of shake, make sure stuff is mixed up. Um, I'm not going to put too much on. The artificial menthol is a very nice amount of cooling. It's not too cold. It's not like face freezing, but it is nice and brisk. And the scent of the aftershave, I'm not putting too much in my palm, just, I don't know, three or four shakes. Wow. See there, there the scent, the citrus scent. The pine, kind of a nice, sharp, bright, I don't want to say light, but it's not really light, but it's got a certain brightness to it. Mm. And sort of the earthy undertone, which I think is the iris, that to me does not really appear as a, as a sort of a front note in the aftershave at all. This, the aftershave is just a lighter, brighter scent, which I really, really like. Shaving soap smells good. Aftershave for me just smells better. All right, well, anyway. All right, let's talk about all the products in turn because that shave, my friends, is D-O-N-E done. Man, <laughs> look at that, beautiful. Hmm, did I nick myself down here a little bit? Yeah, maybe, maybe. This has lately been prone to a little bit of redness and irritation, but well, I don't know why. Anyway, let's talk about the soap. House of Mammoth Damusi. What a beautiful scent and what a fantastic shaving soap. So easy to use, so easy to lather, great slickness, great protection, very easy to rinse, good residual slickness, and post-shave, it's pretty good. Oh, I think I nicked myself one more time. Why? <laughs> it just happens. Um, highly recommend that soap, really, really good. And I, I'm not sure about the other scents. I've never tried that soap before, so that's my first time using that in the first place. Very, very happy with that. The brush also, very nice that it's a nice heavy handle if you're looking for a heavier brush you want a smaller uh, a smaller badger knot silver tip but one that does have a nice mix of structure and splay very soft no scritch very nice option if you're into badger brushes they're kind of low in my list at the moment but that's still a pretty good brush let's not forget of course the wonderful legacy chiseled face this i'm using this all the time that's going to be between that and the carved aluminum on the C plate, those two beautiful razors, beautiful. And then let's end off with the Damosi aftershave. A little bit of synthetic menthol, a nice uh, sort of sense of cooling, not too much brisk, but not overly too heavy. Um, the scent on this is fantastic. It really leans towards the brighter citrus side for me, at least. Um, the soap and the aftershave combined actually make for quite a nice scent combination together. Very nice aftershave as well. I, like I said, I might be in the wrong here, but I like the alcohol-based aftershaves. I know that it's not the optimum thing for my skin, but there's something about the feeling of that going on that just feels like that's the way it's supposed to be. And I think it is. All right, my friends, I think that's it for today. Thank you so much for joining me again. Mm. Yep, definitely nick myself right down here, but look, it happens to everybody. Every now and then, what are you going to do? Um, it's been a joy to go through the shave again. Thank you so much for your comments on all the previous videos. If you want to leave a comment on this one or any previous ones, of course, feel free to do that. Thank you so much for watching again. And until next time, goodbye.